Digital Specialty Chemicals, a privately held Canadian fine chemical manufacturer specializing in organophosphorus and organometallic chemistry, supplies both custom and stock chemicals to pharmaceutical, specialty chemical, and semiconductor markets worldwide. A number of our products are highly air and moisture sensitive and therefore need to be handled correctly in order to prevent product decomposition and to obtain accurate analytical results using a range of instrumentation such as HPLC, GC and NMR. In order to obtain strong analytical results in a timely manner, we have developed a low-cost, easy-to-implement method for sampling of air-sensitive products. We call this the sample-in-a-bag method. The equipment required for this technique is simple. A standard glass pipette with bulb, a nitrogen or argon line, a clear plastic bag. We find a 20 cm by 30 cm size bag is preferred, a simple elastic band, and finally, the sampling vessel for the chosen analytical method, typically a vial for GC and HPLC or a tube for NMR. Our three-step process is quite simple in approach, but truly effective. To begin, it's vital that the equipment being used is fully purged with nitrogen to eliminate air. First, attach the wide end of the pipette to the nitrogen line. To prevent injury, take extra care not to break the pipette. Purge the pipette and vial or NMR tube for 30 seconds. Next purge the pipette bulb. Remove the pipette from the nitrogen line and quickly put the bulb onto the wide end of the pipette. Insert the tip of the pipette into the nitrogen line with the nitrogen flow on and push nitrogen in and out three to four times. It's important to note that the pipette should be used promptly. Remove any seal that may be found from the bottle lid, but be sure to not open the lid at this point. Attach a clear plastic bag using an elastic band over the top of the closed bottle. Insert the nitrogen line into plastic bag between the plastic bag and the neck of the bottle. Purge the bag four times with nitrogen by first filling the bag with nitrogen and then pushing the nitrogen out of the bag. Lastly, place the purge sample vial or tube inside the nitrogen-filled bag. Using a sharp object, puncture a small hole in the plastic bag. Loosen the bottle lid under the stream of nitrogen. Then insert the pipette tip into the plastic bag. Purge the pipette three to four times with nitrogen. Next, remove the lid from the bottle. Open the sample vial or tube. Insert the pipette into the product liquid and flush the pipette two to three times with a sample. Be sure to return each flush back into the product liquid. Take up about half a milliliter of sample in the pipette. Transfer the half milliliter of sample into the vial or tube. Lastly, close the vial or tube and remove it from the bag. You are now ready to analyze the product. Please remember that in the case of HPLC and GC, the syringe needs to be treated in the same way as the pipette and the sample taken from the vial under an inert atmosphere immediately prior to injection into the instrument. The syringe tip should be capped until injection. If your analysis requires a solvent, the solvent should also be transferred to the vial or NMR tube using the same method as for the sample before the sample is taken. In everything that we do at Digital Specialty Chemicals, quality matters. And that includes servicing all of your organophosphorus and organometallic precursor needs. Please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions you may have around quality issues or product sampling. Digital Specialty Chemicals, the agility to innovate and the capacity to deliver.